combating inventory shrinkage. Well, joining us today to speak about that, Eddie Masika, Vice President of Product and Solutions at OneRail. Eddie, it's great to see you again. Welcome. Thanks, Russell. Eddie, as I understand it, OneRail recently completed a survey that deals with a very, very important area that is inventory shrinkage. And I wish if you, if you would take a moment to walk us through some of the pain points, if you will, that were uncovered in that survey. What would you say? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, in the shrinkage area specifically, um, lack of inventory of where it's at, it just goes missing uh, somewhere inside of a warehouse, in transit, theft was a big part of it, carrier accountability, environmental issues, uh, to name a few of those items that we, we check for. Well, this is not small stuff because there are major ramifications uh, you know, that flow from that type of blindness, if you will. And we're gonna uncover some of that. We're gonna talk about some of that uh, in a moment. But what is it that folks are doing right now to try to combat inventory shrinkage? You sure. Know, when it comes to their inventory tracking, what are they doing? Yeah, so traditionally, a lot of people look at inventory and shrinkage inside of the four walls of their facility, whether it be a retail location, a uh, DC, something of that nature, right? And that's usually some type of hand scanning RFID process that's going back to a WMS. Um, that's all well and good. However, whenever it starts to transfer between different locations, then in transit, that inventory could go missing, which is going to account for that shrinkage. I think you're right. That is uh, all well and good, as you say, within the four walls. But then there seems to be this black hole that uh, stuff goes into because there's this period of time when folks don't know where their stuff is. Absolutely. I mean, is that is that a fair characterization? Absolutely. I mean, if you look at traditional means of just spot checking the inventory that a driver is picking up, uh, maybe they're going through some type of checkout list, looking at a bill, a bill of lading or an invoice, and they're just trying to compare physically what they have, what they're supposed to take. Um, then you're kind of putting that onto the driver if they missed it, or even whoever the the shippers customer, or sorry, the shippers employees are to hold that accountability there. So yeah, it's a black box when it starts to move uh, on on the logistics side of the house. Eddie, this is the money question, so to speak, and I don't know if you can talk about um, revenue lost. Uh, throughout the industry, or maybe it's just per company on average, but what kind of money are we talking about that is potentially lost because folks do not know where uh, inventory is or because it's disappearing? Sure, yeah. The survey actually uncovered, uncovered that uh, it's anywhere from two thirds of the company or the people that were surveyed uh, anywhere from 100000 up to $5 million, right? And a large chunk of that was inside of the 100000 to $2 million range. Um, but still, we're, we're talking even some over $5 million plus. So it's definitely a problem where money, it's hitting the wallets. It occurs to me that somebody watching the video might say, yeah, but we are tackling this problem. We're, we're, we're doing our, our end. Well, I'm sure they are busy doing something. But the question is, what are they doing and is it sufficient? So what did your survey indicate? Um, back to the inside of the four walls is the primary place that they're targeting, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, the, it's the person that's on a dock that's preparing and staging that order to go out. It's a retail employee that's preparing an order for a final mile delivery. Um, a lot of that is gonna happen with barcode scanning, RFIDs, or that manual spot check, like I said. And so it's a lot of traditional ways that we've been doing this, and uh, there's definitely room for improvement to push it a little bit further and capture some additional KPIs uh, at time of transit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I wonder if uh, the survey uh, uncovered any other issues that you think are important to, to mention to the viewership. What do you say? Absolutely. Uh, so the shrinkage is caused from lack of inventory, right? And so the inventory itself, although it may not be shrinkage, maybe it was just misplaced inventory in, in the warehouse. It's still in their possession somewhere. Um, but inventory visibility of where is it at in their supply chain, uh, but additionally, customer satisfaction improvement. So if you can tell a customer ahead of time, even if it's coming through a middle mile all the way down to a retail location that's fulfilling to a customer, you want to be able to prepare that customer, give them a better ETA when they can expect it, right? And so really help prepare for an order to be on time and in full 
and it set that expectation for the customers. That was one of the biggest outcomes that we saw as well. Mm -hmm. Great drill down, great information right there. Uh, Eddie, for the benefit of uh, any viewer who's not entirely familiar with OneRail, uh, talk to us for just a moment about the focus of the company. What would you say? Sure. So OneRail has been in the last mile space. Uh, we're based out of Orlando, Florida, and we help facilitate the final mile or the last mile delivery orchestration between shippers and logistics providers. Um, so we can actually go anywhere from a courier to a carrier to parcel uh, mode agnostic. We also help shippers power their own internal fleets. Um, but there's a large emphasis on the tracking. So GPS, proof of delivery, digital signatures, and really empowering these companies to, to execute the deliveries for their end customers. Uh, we also offer a suite of um, customer experience side of things, so text messages and emails. Uh, we just launched a new product called OmniPoint Inventory Visibility. Uh, and all of this OmniPoint is our main platform that executes and orchestrates these deliveries. So lots of decision making in real time, very fast. Uh, and we also offer, uh, we have a network of couriers that we've actually combined together. And so it makes it easy for a shipper to come to us. They can get a rate card with us and then we help procure, manage, et cetera, that network. And so we're about 12 million drivers inside of that network. Hmm. Well, if anything, you have, uh, I think, proved today that the inventory journey is extraordinarily important and something where you need to have good partners working with you. Eddie, I thank you so very much for meeting with us today. Thanks. Thanks, Russell. It's Eddie Masika, OneReal, speaking with us today about combating inventory shrinkage. Thanks for watching.